Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have a collective makeup haul for you. Um, it's not the biggest haul, but it's a couple of bits and bobs that I've picked up. I will uh, jump right in. The first two items are by Barry M. This is one of their beautiful glitter um, polishes. I do think Barry M does some of the best glitter polishes I've ever kind of used. The first one is called Amethyst Glitter. It says 354 and 326 on the sticker though, so I'm a little confused. But yes, Amethyst Glitter. And it is a blue and purple um, and silver glitter. It's a very, to me, it's a very New Year's Eve kind of glitter. Um, it was great. And when I picked this up at Superdrug, there was a buy one get one free on the Barry M products. So I picked this one up, which I am in love with. This is called Ruby Glitter. And basically it is, I think you'd probably say there is two shades of red um, glitter in there. And it really reminded me of the Deborah... Is it Lipman or Lipscomb? Lipman? I think it's Deborah Lipman um, polish. Um, I got a beautiful red um, glitter polish by her in my December glossy box last year, I think. Um, and it was lovely. Uh, it was a nightmare to get off. <laughs> but they're really expensive for polishes. And it was beautiful, but it was really expensive, whereas I think the Barry M glitter polishes are equally as good and uh, a hell of a lot cheaper. The next item I'm going to show you is a double-ended mascara from a brand called CC UK. Um, I've never seen these in a shop, but uh, I think, actually no, I think I saw it in a pound shop once. Um, but you normally find this brand on um, discounted makeup sites. Um, which I'm more than happy with. The reason I really wanted to try this out is because it's one of those double-ended mascaras where it comes with a primer. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of um, mascara wand, but, you know, I like a big mascara wand rather than the skinny one. But the good thing with the skinny ones is you can get right in um, so that's probably why they've done that, but yes, so it's got a primer on one end and then a proper mascara with a proper wand on the other end and it's in black. Um, the reason I, obviously I like, I like a mascara with a primer, I have not got the skills to apply, um, fake lashes. So that's why I hunt these primers out. There's a really great one by Passion that I keep on finding occasionally in my local 99p shop, which I'm in love with, because normally the mascaras with these primers are pricey. So when I find a cheap, good one, I kind of grab onto it. So I will let you guys know what I think of this. The next item I got is also a polish. It's by a brand called... I don't know how to pronounce it, pronounce it. Um, Hedy's, H-E-D-Y-S. It's called Space Silver. And basically, we all know I like glitter polishes. It's just a very fine silver glitter polish. Um, yeah, everybody needs a bit of sparkle in their life. The next item is a lipstick, and it is by Nivea. Again, you don't see these that often. Um, and it's called Rose Number no. 7, or Rose 07, and it looks like that. Because it's by Nivea, I was kind of, as you can see, I've not even swatched this yet. Um, because it was by Nivea, who obviously are a cream, they do lotions and things, so I'm expecting it to be very smooth and glossy. If we go like that, and I'm not disappointed. That is a lovely application. Look at that colour though. That's beautiful. I like it. So yes. 
It smells a bit hand creamy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but you know, they are a hand cream manufacturer, I suppose. But yes, it's a lovely colour and it was a really nice application, really smooth. The next two products are from the same brand. Um, they're wet and wild. And <laughs> I know in the States, these are like the cheapest of the cheap in drugstores, I think. Um, but they're quite hard to get your hands on over here in the UK. Um, they're both quite similar red shades. Um, but when I saw them, I needed to have it. Uh, this first one is um, 517B. It's a beautiful red colour. If I go like that, I really... Oh, look. Just look at the colour payoff on there. It's lovely. It's just... I really like Wet n Wild lipsticks. I know some people slate them. I rate them. Um, it's just a really smooth application. Colour payoff is awesome. Um, this next one is a number 40. And I'll do it next to it this is a lot sheerer but yeah so this is number 40 and this is number 517B I like them both I am loving this 517B I am happy <laughs> isn't it strange how makeup can make you happy the next item is by Maybelline, it is one of their wonderful um, colour tattoos. The shade I have is number 65 in pink gold, I've not actually played with it yet but look at that, it is beautiful, I love it, I love, love, love it. Um, I shan't swatch it because this stuff is a nightmare to get off. <laughs> I really love it. I um, have the Eternal Gold one and I'm kind of addicted to that. But this is so pretty and I can't wait to wear it. And pink isn't a very obvious nail, um, nail uh, obvious eye colour, but I just saw this and I wanted it. I was very tempted um, to get the Ready one, which is, is it called Pomegranate? I'm not sure. Just because in a lot of articles at the moment you know red eyeshadow is in um not quite brave enough for red but i thought i could rock pink um but yeah i really like it the next product i have is a another lipstick um you probably can tell by the packaging it's clinique um i love clinique's packaging because it's so simple um and i'm a mint green fan but i just think there's something about their packaging that looks a bit dated these days. I think it could quite easily be a lot more classic. This is Bamboo Pink, but it's not pink. Um, it's, to me, it's more of a plummy colour. It is very sheer, but buildable. I do like Clinique lipsticks. They are very moisturising. Um, but yeah, I'm slightly confused by the name, but it is a lovely colour. And the last item, and the messiest item of today's haul, is um, also by Wet n Wild. It is a loose eyeshadow, or a loose pigment, whichever you like to refer, refer to them as. Um, it is in shade 20 Graphite. I'm going to now make a mess. It is this... Awesome. Let's do it here. It's very, oh, I'm making such a mess. It is somewhere between a grey and a black. There is glitter in there. You could make a really dramatic eye. Um, I don't do the black all over look because I can't carry it off. So what I intend to do with this is use um, my MAC Fix Plus and try and foil with it. Now, I've never done that before. I've never foiled with an eyeshadow, 
but I've seen a couple of tutorials on YouTube um, so I intend to give it a go um, apparently it makes it less messy and it stays better so that's the plan anyway so that is everything in today's haul I hope you have enjoyed it I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are take care and I'll talk to you soon bye